Howdy, people. Let's enjoy our day out here. Put some fish in the boat. Y'all stick with me. Let's make it happen. Let's make it happen. What a beautiful fish. Barely get my hand around that joker. Nice, and, nice, and, nice. And. So what I'm using <clears throat> is a 132nd jig, no split shot, and a little cigar float, and just uh, pitching it out there. And uh, I'm not hitting any giant beds just yet, but uh. A lot of times I'll, I'll find bigger fish on little small beds. So what I like to do is just just uh, work the banks, just just like I used to do when uh, this lake was covered in grass. Right now it's not not any grass, but uh, this technique is still still seeming to, to be the best thing to best thing to do and I'll show you guys some beds here after a while what I'm looking for on my SI and uh, my previous videos I was using a uh, hummingbird 798 but uh, as most of you may know I've uh, upgraded I've upgraded my uh, electronics to uh, Gorman and uh, running a 106 SV. And it's working out pretty good. I still got a little couple little issues that I'm that I'm panning out. I just put a uh, ferrite those ferrite rings on my cables this morning because I was getting a little feedback from my troll motor. And uh, it's seeming to help. And the, the, the ferrite rings were included. So I guess that's an issue that uh, Gorman, Gorman knew about. And I'll show you guys the scan of, of what I look for when I get on some of the bigger beds. It's like right now, it's like I said, I'm just hunting down, hunting down the small beds because they seem to hold, hold the bigger fish sometimes. And as you can see, I'm pitching just in and out with that cork. If those fish are there, they're going to be aggressive. So it, you don't have to sit there and wait on them. And uh, once I pitch it and don't get a bite, what I'll do is uh, give that, little, that jig a little pop, as you can see. And sometimes you can be pretty aggressive with that cork. You know, make that jig hop. Make it hop off, the, you know, off from close to the bottom like it's trying to get away from them. 
And a lot of times I'll, I'll find it that that is uh, what entices them. And I'm using crappie nibbles, as you can see. And I've gotten hung on a couple little branches. And it don't take much to make that that jig fall off. So now I will say I got red worms today. I know a lot of you guys on my previous bluegill and red ear shell cracker videos were saying, hey man, you need to try some worms or try crickets or try this or try that. But anyway, I'll show you guys how worm, worms work great. In my search of trying to find bluegill and shell cracker, the fastest way of doing so is using side imaging. Any brand fish finder with side imaging is useful. Here I'm going to show you Gorman side imaging of what spawning beds look like. This time of year, this is a great area to fish for bluegill and shell cracker. We're going to see about that. There we go. Look at how pretty that fish is. Ooh, that joker there is colored. <laughs> he is colored up. Beautiful. And I still got my crappie nibble. No giant by any means, but he, he'll do. Let's see if we can get another one. We ain't gonna change directions? Really? Get a little color change. That's looking a little better. That's definitely looking a little better. He's not as colored up as that other one, but that's a fillet right there. That fish didn't give me any indication that he had hit that jig. I mean, no indication. I'm going to show you a great tip on how to position your boat, especially in windy conditions when you have varying wind directions. Check out what I do right here. And if you notice, I'm easing that anchor down. I'm using a mushroom anchor, uh, and 
if you look here, I have I just put one down on the front of the boat, and I'm going to put one down to stabilize the the back of the boat from turning over the beds, like the boat did in the previous spot that I fished. Awesome tip to help you catch more and bigger fish. We're gonna let that one make it, even though he's a beautiful specimen. Absolutely gorgeous specimen. So all I got is a change jigs. So I got it tipped with just a little bitty piece of worm. We're gonna let that one make it. Let him grow up some. We're looking for them bigger ones. See if we can make it happen. tough one to get but I finally got him they just uh they acting a little funny look at that thing there would you oh man wow nice and yeah I mean he sucked it down and I put I had to put a crappie nibble on there for him look at how pretty that thing there is y'all wow gorgeous colors take over my whole hand he'll do that's a fillet -er. see if we can't entice another one now I'm having to put that jig I mean on the bottom now all I'm seeing them do is is just like a crappie, they're, they're, they're snatching it in. So what I'm watching for is that a little tick from that cork. That's all I'm looking for, is a tick from that cork. Hopefully you guys are enjoying these tips that work really well for me, and they will help you catch more and bigger fish. Paying attention to the small things that are oftentimes overlooked assist me in being successful more times than not. Hopefully you enjoy the tips and the video well enough to subscribe if you haven't already. Those of you that have, I want to say thank you. And those of you that happen, please subscribe to the channel. Just another gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous male red ear. Look at the colors on that thing. He'll fly.
You got to be kidding me. I'm not trying to catch no gore. As I oftentimes say, while we're out on the lake, enjoy it to the fullest. Although we're out to fish, it's not all about fishing. Always take a look around and enjoy the scenery. This is an absolutely beautiful lake, and I enjoy just tipping around, cruising, watching the birds, the alligators, and other wildlife that I see on the lake. So be sure to enjoy the, your environment while you're out on the lake. Wow. What a beautiful fish. Barely get my hand around that joker. While we're out on the hunt fishing for any species of fish, the action we apply to our baits can really help in enticing fish to bite. Pay attention to what I'm doing here and there's zero rod motion but what I'm doing is giving my jig action with just a little spin of the reel. And what that's doing is giving the jig more distance from the bottom and it's seeming to work really well this day on this particular bed. <laughs> Pull drag in. These things just fight like you don't. <laughs> Whoa, look at that pretty thing there, y'all. Don't let him make it. As I'm sure that you've noticed, the wind in this area is really bad. Also, take a look at the style of cork that I'm using. I've switched from the cigar style float to the pencil float, which works a lot better in windy conditions. Be sure to have the right type of cork to help you catch more and bigger fish. Joker's down there hitting like a crappie. Oh. 
a fight then. Fight. Oh, yeah. Look at this thing here. Big old native bluegill. That joker there is some kind of thick. Wow. That's just a straight bluegill right there, y'all. And that thing there is got colors on that joker. Nice. Look at that thing there. Wow. Calm yourself there, Billy. Just a gorgeous fish. I mean, that's, <laughs> don't get no nicer than that. Beautiful fish. Look at that joke in that sun. Thank you, buddy. Joke come up out there. These things, I'm telling you, if they got to four pounds, you need a uh, short. You need short tackle. You know, a little, a little on the small side, but you still put up a good fight. Still put up a good fight. lot of them down in the cart but I know that if, if uh, that cart lay over they picked it up they're holding it up like that well missed him but that's how they've been biting they lay that cork over you got him I mean, you set the hook on these jokers and it, it don't move. <laughs> that's a good fish right there, I believe. I believe that's a good one. Oh, yeah. Look at this thing here, y'all. Look at this thing here. <laughs> well, y'all asked for bluegill videos. Look at that thing right there. Wow. Whew. If that ain't a pound, I don't, I don't know what to tell you. That fish was a pound all day long. Just a beautiful fish. Take a look at this thing. Look at that thing there. Wow. Just hides my hand. That's what my hand with my fingers open. Beautiful fish. We're gonna harvest that one. He's uh he's mature. See if we can get another. He 
just sitting down there holding it. Look at this thing here, y'all. <laughs> we'll fight then. Oh boy, look at this fish here. Look at that thing there, y'all. That's a linebacker right there. Ooh, look how thick that joke is. Wow. Amazing. <sighs> Woo. Pretty little old thing. I bet you that joke probably would have made a pound itself. Them jokes two inches thick. All right, edit.